Twitter as well. So uh, Discord also has them. Like, right. Like, I know the Red Post also has like links to the Discord as well. You'll find it. You'll definitely find You'll it. You'll find it. But yeah, <laughs> let's jump into this next set. We got Esam fighting against, uh, what is that name? That's what Yars Riv. Hold on, I got this. Yars Revengerson. No, Yars Revengerson. Yars Revengerson. Let's Yars go. Revengerson. Okay, I got it. All right, come get this I know revenge. the English language. Let's, <laughs> I don't know if that's why. I, his game, his actual play tag is completely. Yeah, easy grip stick. I don't Meanwhile, know. He, fighting against Esam. Uh, we Pikachu. got interesting names, but does he have an interesting play style? Looking good right now, actually. Actually, up in the lead versus Esam. No, Esam is one of those players that's kind of the, the lone Pikachu man in this yeah, game. Not seeing too many. Everyone's just opting to go for the Pichu trade instead. Yeah. Definitely makes sense. The smaller the character, the easier it is to low-profile things, man. All right, Lucas starting to look a little bit unhealthy, but never mind. He's firing right back with that up air. Uh-oh, we got jab blocks on deck. That's not going to kill, though. This ain't Smash 4. That, I mean, the thing is, that's still a combo that works for past game. Mm -hmm. You'll know ECM's looking for those down tilts. He's just checking to see. Are you going to tech oh, this? Oh, that actually connected. The what a trade. Match. I mean, OK. You he, got it. He knew that quick attack was going to land right in front of him, so just to throw it out there, why not? Right. All right, this man got to do some more work right now. You were able to take that stock, but you need to get a ton more percent on the board. Goes off super deep for that back air. Reverse aerial rush. Connects it. And you see I'm putting a tie on the board. All right, we got percent lead just a little bit, though. Good up tilt on that. Can't really juggle him, though. He tried to do a beat reverse, thinking that he was going to go for a lightning right away. Uh, not a bad you know, thought, but it just didn't work out. You'll notice that Isim is playing around his shield, right? Like, you see him jump in, but then immediately jump away just to see how he reacts. Like, how are you going to do... What is, what is your option of choice when I do this, you know? And a lot of times, you see Isim quick attacking in. Like, Yars Revengerson has an answer to it. Right. All right, these fadeback neutral Bs kind of working out for Lucas. Ooh, or I should say side Bs. You know, trying to go off stage. Has the Thunder Jolt. Tries to go super deep, but uh, misses the PK he Thunder Recovery. He went to the left. I he think didn't maybe, even... Did he get spooked by Isim? Was he trying to kill Isim? I don't with know. It? Yeah, like, maybe he was going for like a suicide stock yeah. or something. Which <laughs> I don't think he should have gone for because he was winning. Not, yeah. <laughs> he had the percent lead. Definitely should have just tried to recover directly to the stage, but maybe he wanted Isim the clip. Got he hit. wanted the clip. <laughs> yeah, I can respect yeah. it. You're would on have stream. Been I get so it. So worth it. I got that. Like guys, look what I did to Isim. That would be much better if you could show them a 2-0, but it's all right. Gonna try to get his feet back on the stage here. Kind of getting juggling, juggled by Esam. And Esam doing a lot of dash attacks, just covering all the landing options from uh, Revengerson. Wow, and he went for that up B. Kind of risky. Tried to fade back to the ledge, but Esam did not let that happen. Another great option coming out from Esam is he's going for the forward airs. Oh, oh my god, get, get, get nicked by that forward smash. That's I'm a home a run. Dodge? My man doesn't need a baseball bat. He's got a stick he found on the field. Yeah, the way this man is taking these stocks is actually insane. Sort of getting the clips here. He just shouldn't have thrown that stock away because that now good. that's the end. That, that was kind of a weird down smash, right? Because he dragged him in with it, yeah. but then, like, the killing blow, like, zoom in didn't happen until later. So I see ECM taking a nap right there. He's going to take game number one. I, oh, man. I swear if he had hold, held on to that sock, that would have been a much closer game. I feel like majority of those kills, besides, like, the reverse aerial rush back here from ECM in that first stock, were all, like, super, like, like, like smash attacks, you know? Yeah, yeah. They're all super hard call outs. It's like, it, it makes you wonder if that sort of thing is like an accident, low key. Like, yeah, he went to like, down tilt or something, got the down smash. Well, I think it's that down smash, it dragged him in. So it had a deceptively larger range. Deceptively large range. Oh, we got the uh, the costume coming out. What? Oh, snap. Our Pika. Got to ham it up a little her. bit here. Yeah, so Pikachu Libre making her appearance from uh, Pokemon Tournament. Great go. costume. You'll notice that it is, in fact, a female Pikachu. You see that little heart on the tail. Oh, right. When did they start adding that? Because wasn't Ash's Pikachu female in, like, canonly? I, 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 don't, I don't know too much about the anime. Okay, well, either way, yeah. nice forward air right here. Someone let us know. Hit, hit that young uh, YouTube sure. search. Go on to the Pokemon footage. But here we go. Esam is back on the platform. He uses the quick attack to get back onto the stage. Now, Kalos Pokemon League is kind of an interesting counterpick, right? Because you got those little ledges on the edge, which could be beneficial for Pikachu's quick attacks. Absolutely. Are right, you able to get back to the platform right there? Eating a just a quick PK fire, not too much of a punish for it. Bear tries to get the thunder on top of him, goes for the shield instead, just to try to play safe. I mean, right there, he had to go for the double jump in order to avoid the thunder jolt. But that's exactly what Esam wanted. Try to like follow up with an anti-air option. Yeah, absolutely. All right, this man's got his feet back on the stage. We saw him do some crazy things before, but never mind. Esam's going to be the one to do the drag down into up smash. He knows that's another reason why Kalos is going to be beneficial to Pikachu. He allows him to go for the wall jumps. Right. 
Definitely did help him get back up there. And a nice delay from Isam. Not going to get hit by that down smash twice. And the more I think about it, the more I see that the Revengerson's counterpick to Kalos is just benefiting Isam. Another thing, Thunderjolt's climbing up the walls. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not sure if he kind of thought that through when he chose the stage. Ooh, and trying oh, to charge him. dead. Yeah. Good night. You see him toss him. And only 38% on him. Very risky option for Isam to challenge him on, on the platform like that. For sure. All right, coming in with an air. And yeah, that's very fair because he charged up an up smash. Like, that wouldn't have even killed him, so. Ooh, but this Challenges might. Challenges the PK Thunder. You're, you're a madman, man, Sam. Absolutely. He had no fear whatsoever. He did not care. Gets the yes. down tilt. No tech forward Ooh. smash. You've got to tech those. If Pikachu lands that down tilt, you've got to get that tech on ready or you're going to die. You're going to explode. Isam will fish for those, especially if you're not taking. Isam will fish for those down tilts. Right, Isam showing me, hey, be quiet. This still kills. Don't matter what game it is. They're safe, too. Like, if, that, if that's on shield, you can run away. Right. All right, kind of just dashing around Lucas right now. He's not going to give up any percent that he doesn't have to. Yeah, he has a stock lead. There's no reason for him to get antsy. Right. Just runs in, gets, shields the PK fire, gets the combo started. Damage begins. Was hoping he was going to air dodge down to the ground where he went for the dash stack, try to get that follow up. Did not expect him to air dodge inwards. All right, we're going to quick attack right into him. Knock out everything Lucas is going for. I mean, ugh, I was going to say he wasn't really taking too much percent, but now suddenly getting juggled off the right side. How's he gonna, oh, oh don't Sam, clip come him. Come on. Going for the, the skull bash off stage. Ooh, and the accidental down smash on the platform. Unless he assumed that quick attack was going to come up there. I don't know. Definitely would have been better to cover the ledge with it. He goes for the fade back PK fire using this. Ooh. Uh, ooh, we're absorbing some health now. I do like the absorption. I'm not sure how much he got off of that, but not bad. He's like, all right, are you going to use that to climb the wall? I'm going to use it to heal then. Okay, back air. Goes out another PK jolt, uh, thunder jolt. Thought he was going to try to fall down onto the ground. That's why he had that forward smash ready to go. Quick attacks him into a combo starter. Wait a sec. Down tilt, double jumps to avoid the tech situation. Woo! And Isam was all over the place, covering exactly where Lucas was going to be. And he actually had to read correctly, but Lucas able to get his shield up in time and live for right now. Nice lightning catching him still. Revengerson struggling to find this kill. You see him throwing out these down smashes just in case. Wait, where's he going? Wait, he, what? what? Okay. Wait, well, why did the sparks come in? Wait. So, like, he, I think uh, Isam let go of shield a little bit too soon, or it poked him. But he took no knockback. I, I honestly, I, I don't have an answer. Explain it to me right now, Austin. Okay, so Lucas used PK Thunder to, uh -huh. th to hit himself. Right. Went through Pikachu. I'm guessing uh, PK Thunder is not as strong as Ness's PK Thunder, so it didn't kill him. But also because he went to the left, like, I don't know what, what possessed him to do that. He's going to die. I still don't understand.